Tony Sieber's wild battery prediction, it's not looking so wild anymore. I mean, honestly, when I've presented his prediction at some of the conferences that I've spoken at, people have been a bit shocked. Like, is that even possible? That sounds crazy. But if you watch this video, you'll see why it's actually not crazy at all. A respected new study says that in the future, Replacing an electric vehicle battery, the entire battery, will actually cost less than simply fixing the engine in your old internal combustion vehicle. This may sound outlandish or outrageous, but actually, as soon as I read this headline, unlike most people, I went, yeah, of course, that's true, absolutely. There's very good reason why that is going to be the case. And in fact, I've talked about this at a few of the live speeches that I've given at shows, the declining cost in batteries. I think people realize just what's going on and, and just how far that trend will continue. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I'll put a link in the description below. Recurrent found that the cost of electric vehicle batteries and where they are headed in terms of pricing is on pace for the replacement of an entire battery pack to be less than a gasoline engine repair by 2030. Now, Recurrent, I should point out, these guys, it's not an opinion-based website. It's not like um, a lot of the stuff I talk about in my personal opinions, I mix that with facts. Recurrent doesn't really do that. They just talk about facts and they really revealed data based on <clears throat> what people are doing. Now, one interesting thing a recurrent did is they looked at the charging habits, the fast charging habits of Tesla owners across all of North America. And they found that people who've DC fast charged, as in did lots and lots of fast charging, even up to 100%, barely affected the batteries, barely affected it, only a really, really small amount. So these guys have done some really interesting research. Now, Goldman Sachs actually even agrees with them. And I've been presenting people Goldman Sachs data at... Um, various shows this year and people are shocked by it. They're like, Goldman Sachs said it? Wow, okay, it must be true. Goldman Sachs said that by 2026, battery prices are projected to reach 80 US dollars per kilowatt hour, roughly half the price of what they were priced in 2023. But to be honest, that's not really the point here. That's sort of, um, means almost nothing in comparison to what's actually going to really happen. In just three years, the cost of EV batteries was sliced in half, but the movement could continue to work in the favor of consumers and EV drivers, according to analysts at Goldman Sachs. They report that the projected cost for batteries is $64 per kilowatt hour, but that within 10 years, that cost will go down to $32 per kilowatt hour. Battery pack prices have already come down more than 90% over the past 12 years. But the price is predicted to fall by 66% within 10 years time. So what that means is that batteries will be very, very cheap. However, some experts actually believe, and I've been reporting this information as well, because one of them is Tony Sieber, that actually battery costs will come down to $10 per kilowatt, kilowatt hour by 2030. Now those batteries in mention, that they are talking about are actually sodium ion batteries. They say that when the world is mass manufacturing sodium ion batteries, which we still aren't really, the cost will eventually fall probably within five years time, five or six years time to 10 US dollars per kilowatt hour. Now you can imagine today, the numbers are at about 85 US dollars. The cheapest that you can get is around 85. Now, if that was to go down all the way to $10 per kilowatt hour, then recurrence analysis would be obviously correct. Recurrent says this, Goldman Sachs October 2024 report puts the estimated pack price in 2030 at $64 per kilowatt hour. Compared to other estimates, this number is quite high. In January 2024, industry leader RMI estimated a 2030 sell price of $32 and up to $54 for higher energy density batteries per kilowatt hour, or 45 to 65 at the pack level. However, over the course of 2024, CATL began offering LFP cells as low as $56 per kilowatt hour and BYD followed, followed. So you can really see here how Tesla and BYD are both making a profit on EVs, particularly Tesla making still a good profit, even though they reduced prices drastically 
and the profits haven't fallen. This is the key reason why, because the batteries of the core components, because the cost of the core components, particularly the batteries, has come down so much. $56 per kilowatt hour is unbelievably cheap. But if that were to fall to $10 per kilowatt hour, well, you can imagine what would happen. Internal combustion would be finished overnight. It would be insane. Not overnight, but very, very quickly. Clean Energy Associates predicted that the global market for lithium-ion batteries will remain oversupplied through 2028, remaining even lower than anticipated prices. Study says, this puts pack prices at or under 50 US dollars per kilowatt hour. For a huge 100 kilowatt hour pack, replacement costs might be four and a half thousand to five thousand dollars, or three thousand three hundred and seventy-five dollars for a more standard 75 kilowatt hour pack. That's on par with an engine replacement. In fact, it's cheaper than engine replacement, three thousand three hundred dollars. And to be honest, 75 kilowatt hour pack is still relatively big. The energy density of battery packs is increasing, so. By 2030, a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack would be actually very, very big. You would, probably wouldn't want that. You'd probably find that at an energy density of estimated to be at 400 watt hours per kilogram, you wouldn't need anything more than a 50 kilowatt hour pack. You could, you could get a big one if you wanted to, maybe for a pickup truck or you know some sort of really big vehicle, a big, a big, big SUV. But the average pack size will be probably less than 50 kilowatt hours by 2030. And that's the other reason battery pack prices will come down. Because... What we're saying here, what analysts are saying is that the sell price will continue to fall, but they're not mentioning the fact that at the same time, the energy density of that exact same cell will increase as it has done nearly every year for the past 25 years. This would effectively mean the cost of replacing an EV battery pack would drop to 30% of what it is or what it was in 2020. Goldman Sachs said the, pro the causes of the prices per kilowatt hour dropping are this, a continued downturn in battery metal prices, particularly lithium and cobalt, and nearly 60% of the cost of the batteries is from, material, is from the actual materials. Roughly over 40% of the decline is just coming from lower commodity costs because we had a lot of green inflation during 2020 to 2023. Now, as I mentioned before, none of these studies are equating the fact that Tony Sieber predicts the cost of sodium ion batteries will be 10 US dollars per kilowatt hour by 2030. It may not happen in 2030. It may be delayed to 2035. But if Tony Sieber says it's going to happen, well, you can almost guarantee it will happen. And this would mean that the pack price of an EV battery would be far cheaper than an internal combustion engine. The EV sector, of course, is still new. And we don't have 120 years of internal combustion development. And when, imagine if we'd been developing EV batteries for 120 years and investing you know, hundreds of billions of dollars into that technology. Imagine where we'd be today. We'd, we would already have batteries for these prices. We're a bit behind, but this will happen eventually. Now, even if you don't agree with these predictions, you have to admit that there's nothing incorrect here it's only the timeline that might be off. It's possible this will be delayed by a few years or maybe five years. It's possible it could happen even faster. I mean, look, Goldman Sachs made a prediction and everyone thought, well, that's a bit wild. And it's already happened this year, 2024. BOD and, and Cadel, who own well over 50% of the global battery market, bringing the price of lithium ion phosphate batteries down to $56, $56 per kilowatt hour, which is absolutely insane. My friends, if you still don't believe that internal combustion is finished, you just haven't 